After knee replacement, some patients struggle with regaining deep knee flexion. And usually that is because they are so-called fibrotic healers, which means that they develop somewhat more scar tissue than others, and therefore their knee stiffens up, especially towards flexion. For these patients, it is especially important that they avoid too vigorous or too aggressive stretches, because that would only lead to more scar formation and muscle spasm, which would worsen the situation. Instead, gentle and sustained stretching is ideal for these patients, because it allows the muscles and internal scar to slowly relax and soften, which leads to a very gradual and durable regain of flexion. The most efficient way to achieve that is by the following stretching exercise, which is executed with the help of the partner or the physiotherapist or anyone who has seen this video. For the stretching exercise, the patient is lying somewhat reclined backwards, fully relaxed and with a healthy knee flexed 90 degrees. The partner or the physiotherapist then places his or her forearm on the healthy knee and lifts the operated leg over the forearm so that the forearm becomes a lever for the stretch. With the other hand, the partner then gently pushes the leg downwards, gradually and with mild force, inducing the stretch during 30 seconds. It is important that the stretch is executed gently, so that the quadriceps is allowed to relax. But of course, the stretch needs to do something, so it should not be too soft either. That is why the 30 seconds is important. If the patient cannot tolerate the stretch for 30 seconds, it means that the stretch is too aggressive and the partner should push a little milder. If the stretch is on the other hand easily tolerated, it means that the stretch is too soft and the partner is allowed to push a little harder. So in fact, when the patient is counting down the last 5 seconds, hoping that the 30 second stretch is almost finished, that is ideal. 10 times in a row, with 32 second rest in between every stretch. So the whole session takes about 10 to 15 minutes in total. Once or twice a day. Now don't be surprised, this is hard work. But for the knee, it is the safest and most effective way to regain flexion, because it is a very slow and a very gradual stretch. And also because it combines two other factors of importance. That is that the stretch is executed with the hip inflection, which is crucial for quadriceps relaxation. And secondly, because the stretch induces forward translation of the tibia, which is very important for the rollback mechanism, which is an essential prerequisite for deep flexion of the knee. That is why this stretch is so helpful for regaining deep flexion of the knee. Thank you for watching.